The first ranked season since the global launch of Minimax Tinyverse will be starting on March 18th, which is a very exciting time for anybody who has reached level 15 and wants some more competitive matches or some awesome rewards. While this game can make for some pretty quick casual fun in normals, the world of competitive Minimax Tinyverse is a whole other game once you realize all of the little intricacies, mechanics, and strategies that this game has to offer. I know I for one am super excited to see how far I can climb in the ladder and I hope to see as many people as possible as competition to make that super challenging for me. The ranked format will be separated into three divisions, bronze, silver, and gold, which might look familiar to you if you've played other competitive ranked games. There are five divisions between each rank, with 100 points needed to be promoted to the next, and you'll earn points on your wins or lose points on your losses. You'll begin the season with three placement matches to determine which rank you'll start at. Don't be discouraged if you do start off at a low rank if you are a new player, because it just gives you more room to grow as you climb through the ladder. So why should you play ranked? The biggest thing that will get a lot of people into it are the rewards that you can earn from a bunch of in-game currency to special limited time cosmetics. First off, you can earn star coins, which is the currency used to buy cosmetics, gold, which is used for a whole bunch of stuff, and lucky charms, which is used to be lucky. I <laughs> in three different chests plus a mystery chest with rewards based on the rank you climb to. And at the end of the season, everybody will be rewarded a special season portrait to show that you fought in the first ever ranked season. It'll be like a veteran's badge for the future. Then of course, you can earn a bunch of gold through the many achievements in game for playing, winning, and climbing in ranked. These achievements have been locked for a little bit and us seasoned players are really excited to finally get these done because you do get the hearts as well that actually upgrades your statue in your main menu, which is a pretty cool little feature. The most important reason for playing ranked for many people including myself is the near guarantee of fun, challenging, and evenly skilled matches, since you'll be mostly matched with players near your division that presumably have a very similar skill level to you. Normal games can be fun and all, but you may have experienced your enemies doing things like spamming bomb rats at the start, playing snipers at night, or any number of blunders that just hand you a free win, which is usually no fun at all. With ranked mode, you're going to have to actually earn your wins and very commonly be afraid of losing, which makes for some very, very fun and much more exciting games. If you're pretty new to the game, you might feel like there are some barriers to entry beyond level 15, but something I'd like to mention is that all of your troopers, miracles, and champions, and towers will be a minimum of level 8 in ranked matches, which will be great to help you if you are newer at the game. If you feel like your game knowledge is too low for ranked play, I highly recommend you to join the Minimax Discord server where there's many high level players that are willing to answer any questions that you have, and dedicated channels for sharing and discussing builds and strategies. There's also a bit of YouTube content out there to help you learn. I'll leave a playlist full of Minimax guides and builds down below that may be of help, but something else I'd recommend is checking out the VODs from the many tournaments that have been happening to see how the best players are playing. I hope to see a lot of you as competition, and I wish you all good luck on climbing. Have a great ranked season, and thank you for watching this video.